Tamika and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my channel focuses on fashion, travel, beauty, and overall black girl magic, luxury, leisure, lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be talking about the luxury items that I will never, and I do mean never, ever, let me say it again, never purchase. It just is a never for me. It is literally a never, ever, 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 never. There's nothing anybody can do that will make me purchase these items. It's just not going to happen. And I'm also going to be talking about some of the things that I'm kind of on the fence about. Like, I kind of like, but I can't figure out if I'm going to actually buy them. I was going to buy them. I was probably on the fence. I was thinking about buying them, and I haven't actually pulled the trigger. And so I want to talk about some of those, too. So let's get into the video. Of course, I am wearing my Farm Rio uh, cardigan. Let me stand up a little bit so you can see. I'm wearing it as a... Um, like dress I guess and this belt is pretty old it's from BCBG uh yeah so I'm just wearing that you know chilling max and relaxing all cool okay and the braids are really the star of the show I got these braids done on vacation okay you know I just came back from vacation from Senegal and Ghana love them both adore those countries amazing wonderful incredible countries love those countries and so yeah let's get into the nevers that's what we're gonna call them the nevers let's get into it oh I should probably do a disclaimer I should probably do a disclaimer because um I think it's important because like I feel like we this community that I'm building we're starting to get to know each other but there may be people that find this video that don't really know me that don't really know my personality and I want to make sure it's all love and so I'm doing this out of fun out of joy out of like this is my quirky personality and this is why me a person like me doesn't necessarily gravitate towards these items this doesn't mean that I don't think these items are nice and beautiful and wonderful on other people. Um, this, like some of this stuff, I don't think is for nobody. But um, most of these things are just items that I personally don't think is worth the money. I don't necessarily like the quality. Some of it might be because I, I think it's oversaturated and I'm just like a fierce individual. And, you know, I don't like, I don't want to do, if too many people got it, I don't want it. Okay. Even though um, I feel like that's YouTube, right? Like that's that's just YouTube. I feel like people want to see 16 reviews of the same things. Um, but yeah, that's that's what it is. That's the disclaimer. So I want to make sure you you all have that context. So let's get into it. Cartier jewelry. Cartier jewelry. As you can see, I'm not a fine jewelry girl. It's just not my thing. In the beginning, it was political, but um, I it, it's just something I never really got into. I wear like a crazy, tiny, like two wedding bands of like, you know, that's my, that's like my marriage signifier to others. So clearly I'm not a person that's really into like fine jewelry in that way. So that's one of the reasons why you will probably never, ever see me with Cartier jewelry. Calvin will never buy it for me, a.k.a. Mr. Boyd, my husband. Um, like, nobody would ever buy me fine jewelry. It's just, I'm just not that kind of person. Um, I do really like, just like 100% gold jewelry. I do like more minimal jewelry. I'm pretty much always in a gold hoop. Um, these earrings are from um, Oma the Label, which is a black brand, but it's sold at several... Sef Selfridges um, in the UK. It's sold at Macy's. You can also get it on their website. They had a good, good sale. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, you they still will be having their sale. This is from um, Omalola Jewelry, which is also a black brand. Love and adore them. And so I usually, that's where I usually get my jewelry from, like Majuri or stuff like that. I'm pretty contemporary jewelry person. I'm not really into like, yeah, I'm not into like the locked bracelets and like I'm just not into that no it's just not my vibe I don't judge anyone who does I've seen a few girls with it it was cute for them 
it's like, I don't get it, but it's not for me to get, you know? It's because I don't gravitate towards jewelry. Some people don't gravitate towards bags. They don't know why somebody would spend that much on bag. And I'm just like, give me the bag. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I don't, I'm, Cartier jewelry, no. Nah. It's an effort for me. T-shirts. Like, Balenciaga t-shirts. Um, it's mainly the Balenciaga t-shirts. Or like, I just don't get why people spend $400 on a t-shirt. I was like really close to spending that on like Loewe, Ibiza, like their whole like Ibiza line. And they had a bunch of t-shirts and sweatshirts. Like I wouldn't mind spending, you know, on sweatshirts, like really high quality sweatshirts, depending on the, like where it was made and the quality and like all of that. But just like the regular like stunt on me, Balenciaga, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't personally get it. And so I'm not personally going to participate in it. But, you know, the girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. And I clearly don't get it because I'm not that girl. You see what I'm saying? And so that's that's really what it is. I just, I'm not that girl. So I don't, that's why I can't, that's why I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Fendi and Versace. Mm-mm. No. What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't... I... Oh, it's stressing me out. It's stressing me out just sitting here thinking about it. What? Why would... I don't... I don't... It's not making sense. Personally, I don't get it. But... Again, I don't get it because I'm not that girl. Clearly, hello, I don't get it because I'm not that girl. And that's what I have to look in the mirror and tell myself every day. But the whole Fendi Versace, like I didn't see one thing that was like, ooh, that is it. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comments. Am I like way off and I need some help? And listen, I will listen to y'all. If y'all are like Tanika, the stuff is dope. And you, you sister are aging at a rapid pace and you don't, you can't see the trends. I will be sad, but I can accept it. I will be sad, but I will accept it. So y'all need to let me know, like, am I off? Or it just looked like a Miami mess. I'm like, what is this? What, who is gonna wear this outside of Miami? I don't get it. It gave me very like cheap 1988 Miami when it was on the verge of like a catastrophe. You know what I'm saying? And I might be definitely dating myself. Not that I was in Miami <laughs> during that time, but it gives me a little Miami vice, a little sketchy Miami vice, you know? That's what I was like, hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's me. Y'all let me know in the comments. Speaking of Fendi, Fendi and Skims. I, I'm just not a Skims person. Um, I bought the Good American Jeans primarily because I, like, I didn't really fully understand, like, Chloe's involvement in Good American. But I personally am not, like, interested in supporting, like, the Kardashian brand too much. I'm not, like, anti, but I don't want to necessarily support the brand in those ways. I just think it's a little bit of, like, black woman caricature going on for me. I'm not, I, like, watch all the critiques. I look at all the critiques. And I just don't want to be on the side of, like, oh, yeah, give you all my money. I have a pair of Good American jeans that I like. Um, and some days I want to donate them and then some days I'm like, it's okay, but I don't necessarily support like skims and the whole like skims. It's looking like a movement because people really are invested, but it's just, it's not, it's not my vibe. And so that's probably half of it. I also think like the promotion for the latest skims thing I saw somewhere was like a whole like knockoff, like Beyonce Ivy Park situation. I was like, mm -mm, no. And I just didn't see anything that was worthy of a Fendi like collaboration. I'm, 
I'm like, who is protecting y'all brand? That y'all are collaborating with Skims. It just, I don't know. Hmm. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I'm not participating in it. I didn't necessarily like it. I would have appreciated it if, like, I like the Fendi Nicki Minaj because I like the, like, 90s kind of, like, it was like a nod to, like, 90s inner city, like, black American, like, height of fashion and hip hop. And I, I actually appreciate that because I'm a history of um, fashion. Um, I like the history of fashion. I really, like, that's my vibe. Um, not necessarily like the aesthetic that I put on every day, but I appreciate it. But I didn't, I didn't get it. So it's a never for me. It's a never for me. I kind of wish it never happened. And I just wanted to go away. I wanted to go away. Go away. The mock and mock shoes. It was a uh, probably not for me for a long time. And then like the reviews I saw are just like, do not ever buy the shoes. They, people like drag those shoes as being so low quality and like crystals falling off, the bedazzle here and there. Like, they look like they're good to, like, sit on a coffee table or, like, somewhere. But they seem to not be it. And so, it's a no for me. Um, it, in fact, is a never for me. And I think for the price point, it shouldn't be falling apart like that. I mean, I was a little concerned that the fashion industry was turning what is clearly a bridal shoe. Hello a bridal slipper into like an everyday like shoe in different colors so i was always concerned about that but it isn't ever for me so i am not participating in the mock and mock like instagram influencer frenzy no no the quality is not there the quality is not there guys not there next on the it's never for me is the um amina mawadi shoes Same, same thing, different fonts. Same thing, different font. Quality is uh, like, I personally have not like found a pair that the quality is there. And I mean the specific one with like the big old like diamond in the back, you know, like whole like rhinestone front situation. Um, sling back. Um, they also have the ones without the sling. It's like the slide in. And it's just, I'm just not into that whole like mock and mock Amina Mawadi, like even the Jimmy Choo, like satin shoe with the whole like bedazzle in the front. It just gives me wedding shoe. It's a wedding shoe. It's a wedding shoe. It's a wedding shoe. And here's the thing. I'm probably the only person in my friend group that doesn't have a pair of those shoes. My friends swear by the shoes. They love the shoes. They think the shoes are fabulous. And I see them on their feet and they do look fabulous. But I just, I haven't been able to find one that works for me, you know? And so those are the ones that are never for me that are probably like a yes for most people. You know, like the whole like bedazzled shoe on the front, like the whole rhinestone pendant on the front of the shoe. It's probably going to be for most people. But for some reason, it just. It's not rocking with me. I don't know what it is. I put them on my feet and it and it's not rocking. It doesn't work. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Costume jewelry from the Heritage Houses. The Louis Vuitton earrings, like the sprayed gold or like the gold hardware, like, no. I got the Chanel like drop earrings and I never wear them. I wore them once. I, mm, I just don't think they're worth the money. I think they are like the entry level piece. It's like the enamel like Hermes bracelet, you know, that's like literally hollow in the inside. It's like you're paying to like enter the brand. You know, it's like the entry level piece. When you can actually go get like solid, great gold and support, you know, some really amazing brands out here that are really making great gold. 
Um, the like costume jewelry, it just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like I just, it's just things I am on the fence about. The Fendi first bag, I tried. I looked at them. I love that they're coming out with color. It's like, thank you. Thank you. We are in our dopamine era, okay? Pinterest has declared that we are in our dopamine era. We want to see color. Okay, I've been saying this. Okay? We know I'm tired. I'm tired of the syrup colors and the Kanye West beige. Okay? We are tired. Okay, we literally just went through a panorama. And now you want us to further live like we're in an insane asylum with all these neutrals? No! We want to see the color. And so thank you, Fendi, for coming out with the Fendi first bags in color. But that like red and that yellow, I want to see that in the medium and large. The small, mm, not so much. I want to see the medium and I want to see it in the large because that that is for me. Last item I continue to still be on the fence about. Y'all know I drag and then I come back and then I drag it and then I come back. The Bottega pouch. The Bottega pouch. I still kind of want the zebra bag. I just, I didn't want it in the silver hardware with the chain. And I was fussing with my SA and she's just like, well, you don't want it. So just like, just stick to the Bottega, like, mules and the Bottega, like, the things from Bottega that you like, the things from the brand. But, like, I kind of want to get the clutch as, like, an evening bag of some sort. But I, it's just, like, every time I see one, it, like, gets a little oversaturated. It's, like, I like it, but I want something a little bit more unique. And so I wish, like, Dior, you know, like, Lady Dior makes these, like, limited edition pieces. Um, or they make, Dior makes these limited edition Lady Dior bags that I really like. I would like to see that from Bottega. Like, if they can make a limited edition pouch, I could get down with that. I could probably get down with that. All right, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. <laughs> Hopefully you appreciated that video. I actually had a really fun time making it. I feel like I got some things off my chest that I probably didn't know were on my chest about some of these bags and these like luxury things that I continue to see pop up. And again, I think it's just, this is for me. Um, you know, some of these things, people in my life that I really love, my sister, my friends, even my husband, he likes a designer t-shirt every now and then. You know, this is really personal for me. And some of them, I can't even explain like why I don't like them, which is like so funny, right? It's like, I don't really know. It's more of a, like an emotional thing. Um, but that is, those are the things that I, I just, I can't, I'm not swiping. It's, it's just, it's not. It's really not moving me. So I would love to know what are some of the things that mm, it's a never for you? Or what are some of the things you're kind of on the fence about? And I would love you all thoughts on the Fendi first now that they come out with color. What do you think about that? And also the Fendi, um, like the sizing of the Fendi first bags, the mediums versus the smalls. I was going to literally buy a Fendi first bag today. I was like, hmm. And, you know, it was like a colorful bag, but I just, I, mm. so y'all let me know. Would love to get your thoughts on that. And then, um, I would also love to know again, <laughs> what are y'all thinking about Bottega, the Bottega pouch? Are y'all like team Bottega pouch or are you like, uh, it's so many dupes out there. Why? Um, but I do, I do want to figure out like a clutch situation. I know people keep telling me about the YSL clutches and I like them. They're like generally okay, but they don't like scream at me. I, I think the price point is probably what's the most attractive part of it. Um, I just, I don't know the whole like YSL with the tassel. Um, I don't know, but y'all let me know. I'm looking for a pouch. If y'all know like a cute little luxury pouch out there, y'all let me know. I did see a quilted like Chanel one. I was like, mm. it was vintage. Don't worry. It's vintage. I was like, mm, that might be cute. 
So y'all let me know in the comments. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and please hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. We are growing, we are glowing, and we're doing our thing in 2022. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye.